estoy muy satisfecha uh, de mi experimento. Where is my red cup? ¿Dónde está mi uh, taza roja? ¿Dónde está mi taza roja? Ha ha, ting. I wrote this yesterday and you see how much I have a correction. Just three words. <laughs> Hello, so I'm very happy to announce that I finished my, actually I didn't finish still, but I finished my one month of experiment of learning Spanish. I started my experiment last July 1st. I'm very satisfied of my progress. I learned a lot of words in just one month. As you remember before, I did this experiment learning Russian and Spanish in four months, but I had a problem on the first month that time because I don't know, I don't have any ideas on how to learn a language properly. Like I don't have a specific strategy. I don't have specific techniques. The bad thing on that time is I'm using a lot of different tools, different apps, and those apps I'm using, like for example, I'm doing one app now and I decided to change an app because I'm not satisfied and I will go on the other app and that words I learned on that other app, on that first app, is not remembered on the new app. That is also my problem which took me a little slower to learn that language. My experience now is learning Spanish in two months, so I'm doing one hour of learning. It is a real experiment because I can calculate how much I learn in this two months because in one day, I am learning just one hour and after that one hour, I am not allowed to do some Spanish things like going to YouTube to listen some Spanish or reading some Spanish books or watching Spanish movies. So I am not allowed to do that so we can calculate it properly. So how much I can achieve in two months just learning one hour per day. I already know some of words so I did the initial test. I almost forgot all the words I learned before two years so it's very bad if you started learning a language and you are not consistent on that learning on the first week of my experiment I did just lesson and from lessons I'm adding vocabulary to review it in test words also one strategy which I'm doing differently is I'm combining test words to test sentences reading in context is different from like because in test sentences you are given a questions from your interface language my interface language actually english and you are going to translate it in learning language and to me it's spanish and it's very different when you are just reading that in lesson and do test words reading lesson this words because reading in lesson okay you can learn from that but if you really need to translate the sentence it's very different because reading in lesson is passively and in test sentences it's your brain is really working okay tenemos un teléfono debajo Del espejo, espejo. After I build a strong vocabulary in Spanish, I decided to create a story. This is one of my favorite options in language, the writing story, because it's not just writing story and then forget what you've done. When you're writing story, though you don't have a lot of words you know, but you can learn it because there is the translation tool you can use. It's not the same like you are writing and going to Google Translate. This, you can just search a specific word you need. The result is in the infinitive form or the original form. One good thing in the translate tool is you can add it in your vocabulary so that after you write the story, those words you added from the translate tool, you can review them in the test words. And after that, in the following days, if you need that word you search from the translate tool from the previous days, you don't need translate tool anymore because you already reviewed them in the test word. You already learned them. That is why I really like this 
option of writing story and also one good thing because in the translate tool you are given just the infinitive word you cannot search like i'm eating but you can search as eat like comer and you don't know oh my i don't know how to say i am eating i know what is i am yo soy or estoy i know what is comer so that is the fun thing about learning language especially when you just started your grammar is I don't know how to say that in English, katastrofa in Serbian. When you did that, there are some people who will correct you. And from the correction, you will learn, ah, okay, it's not like that. Though you don't have a grammar background, but learning from the correction from other people, you really can learn. So there's one tool also like word forms where I can see the forms of a specific word like comer i can see how it is changing in the first person second person third person and in the plural and also when i realize something like oh okay when it is a e comer so this is how it is done and if it is letter a like comprar so this is how it's done and when i realized that i'm writing it in my notes not in my notes in paper because this experiment is just using this app you don't have even writing in paper you are not allowed to do that i wrote that in my notes and it's also helping it's very useful because when i'm writing another story in the following days i can remember i already have idea though i'm still forgetting it's normal of course but you already have idea and it's a very good thing that if you have a lot of words in your head in your vocabulary it's easy it's easier than learning grammar first and also i'm practicing my listening through test listening and i really like test listening i thought test listening is just like i can improve my listening but i discovered while i'm doing test listening i'm learning at the same time the construction of sentence ¿Qué te gusta comer? ¿Qué te gusta comer? What do you like to eat? ¿Quieres beber algo? ¿Quieres beber algo? Do you want to drink something? No, él no está triste No, no es... ¿Mm? No, él no está triste And when I'm writing, I can learn sentence construction at the same time. And that is one good, amazing thing which I discovered also throughout this learning experiment. I also did read exercise, which I am reading Spanish text, but I did not do that a lot of this first month. Espanol y después de eso estaré trabajando en mi trabajo. Estoy muy cansada. So, I think I will do that on this next month. I think that is that. Estoy muy satisfecha uh, de mi experimento porque mi progreso ahora es, de, es, es de diferente que mi progreso um, últimos dos años <laughs> porque estoy usando um, Porque, um, porque, porque tengo, um, porque tengo mejor, I have better, um, uh, estrategia, mejora estrategia. So yeah, so that is that my, um, update for my experiment. I am very excited after, uh, at the end of August, uh, how to say that in Spanish, uh, I am excited. Uh, oh my, I don't know what is cited. <laughs> en español, no sé cómo se dice excited en español. Pero uh, yo soy feliz or I'm excited uh, uh, en el fin de agosto. Uh, how much? Uh, cuánto, how much I can achieve, cuánto puedo lograr, 
I can achieve. This was ESSO. Also, in the exercise of writing story, I am very grateful with, um, I have only one person who is correcting my story, which is Sophia. I really learned a lot from her because when she is correcting my story, she is also writing comments like explanation of my mistakes, like this is not what is done, this is how it's done. Those comments, I put that in my notes so that next time I will write a story, I will write story good already and yes i am very very satisfied of my progress on this learning in my final test i don't know how much i will achieve after two months but i think it will have a big difference from my initial test i will see but for now my learning is going good i realized if you have a good strategy techniques really and if you are open with new techniques, because before when I started this, I think test words, test sentences, and test audio is enough. Even though I'm not writing story, I can learn the language. But I learn from other opinion like this is good. Try this, try this option, try this exercises. And I tried it and it's definitely helping me to learn this faster and also i realized listen sentences i didn't know that listen sentences is this enjoyable as i thought it was before because i really thought listen sentences okay i will listen sentences but when i use that actually i just used that twice and the first time i used that I was, oh my, I really enjoy it. Like the first sentence is in English and I have five seconds pause to think what is the translation. Just in my head. It's not writing but it's just in my head. And actually today I did that and I put the 10 seconds because five seconds for me is very fast. But my goal, my objective in Augusto is to do that five seconds today i can see my progress almost all the sentences i passed i did that not perfectly but almost there where is the toilet uh donde esta baño el baño donde esta el baño <laughs> where is the kitchen donde esta la cocina uh, cocina donde esta la cocina where is my red cup Donde está mi uh, taza roja? Donde está mi taza roja? Ha ha, ting. Okay. Where can I put this? Hang uh, your shirt there. Okay. Uh, donde uh, uh, donde puedo uh, poner eso uh, col colgas tu camisa allí? Donde puedo poner esto? Cuelga la camisa allí. Cuelga, okay, cuelga. For one month, I did a lot of things. I did discovered new strategies new techniques overall my one month of learning is good i'm satisfied i'm very very satisfied so let's see on august and the end of august how much i can achieve that is for today and i hope you are inspired of this and you will do your learning as strict as you can and yeah so just do it and don't stop hello so i finished my learning for today so i am very very productive because i did a lot of things for one hour and i'm very very happy i wanted to show to you i wrote this yesterday and you see how much i have a correction just three words <laughs> for this story i am very proud of myself because I did wrote, write a story which have I think 97% correct <laughs> tomorrow I will do um, I will learn new words so see you tomorrow and bye bye